This was the response of Senator Manny Pacquiao as he accepted President Rodrigo Duterte's dare to name corrupt government agencies and officials. During his public address last night, President Duterte challenged the senator to give him a list within a week or else he will campaign against him and will expose him as a liar. In a statement, Pacquiao thanked the president for the opportunity to work with him in fighting corruption. According to Pacquiao, it was President Duterte himself who mentioned in October last year that corruption in the government is getting worse. The senator clarifies he is not a liar. He then asked to start investigating the Department of Health, challenging Health Secretary Francisco Duque III if he is ready to reveal the expenses made for the COVID-19 response. The senator adds it is unfortunate that the country's leaders are arguing over corruption. For the palace, the relationship between the two, who were both top leaders of the ruling party PDP Laban, is undeniably turned sour. President Duterte serves as the party's chairman, while Pacquiao is the party's president. I think it's rather obvious that the relationship between the President and Senator Pacquiao is not as cordial as it was. No? Na, na tato na po ang sabaw, kumbaga. In a television interview, PDP Laban Vice Chairman Energy Secretary Alfonso Cusi says Pacquiao has been burning bridges in the party, advising him to leave first before burning his house down. Asked for comment, Senator Coco Pimentel, who was the party's executive vice chairman, believes removing Pacquiao out of the party could be the real reason behind the move and that there must be a deeper plan. The senator adds the ongoing rift in the ruling party distracts the preparations for the 2022 national elections. Now that the fate of the ruling party in the upcoming election hangs in the balance, Pimentel wants to solve the internal conflicts privately. He also believes that it is high time for the top leaders of the party to sit down and settle the issues once and for all.